what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back here to new video guys. Today we're gonna to be reacting to Secret of the Euro. Okay, this is gonna be my first time checking this out. I've never seen this. Uh I don't know the secret of Euro. <laughs> I would love to find out today. I don't know you guys would also love to find out. You know how those guys who talk less right over yes more? Let's get into this video. Prior to 2002, most European countries had their own independent currencies. France had the French franc, Italy had the Italian lira, and Finland had the Finnish marker to name just a few. It made trade and travel a lot more complicated as you needed to change your money for each different country, often incurring exchange rates, commissions and fees. What's more, there was often vast disparity between the values of each currency. Whilst the Italian lira banknote stretched all the way up to 500,000, the highest denomination French franc was only 500. So if you were visiting one from the other, it would be very difficult to gauge how much you were actually spending. In practice, it was a nightmare. The case for a shared common currency was therefore an obvious one, and it was an idea that had been talked about and was being worked towards for decades. Without getting into the precise history, the Euro as we know it was first introduced for non-cash transactions on New Year's Day 1999, and then the first banknotes and coins on New Year's Day 2002. The only countries that did not adopt the currency were Denmark and the United Kingdom, although there are several other EU countries who don't yet meet the economic criteria, but will make the change once they do. And since those first banknotes were launched in 2002, they've just finished releasing a new and updated series which this video is going to take a look at. Now I'm not going to get into any of the pros and cons of the currency, or any of the economic arguments or considerations. Instead, I'm going to approach the Euro purely as a banknote collector, as someone who likes shiny and colourful objects with a cool story, not as a critic of the currency itself. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Now normally I'd go through and talk about each banknote individually, but with the Euro it makes much more sense to talk about them collectively. These new notes are known as the Europa series, and they are very much a series, with each denomination just a slight variant on the overall design. Like the previous series, the notes have retained their size, colour and the theme of European architecture. The front of each denomination displays a window or doorway to represent openness and cooperation, whilst the reverse depicts a bridge, symbolising communication. The 5 euro sees a classical architecture style, the 10 Romanesque, the 20 Gothic, the 50 Renaissance, the 100 Baroque and the 200 a 19th century iron and glass theme. The old 500 note had the theme of the music modern is 20th too loud. century architecture, although has been discontinued and is slowly being removed from circulation. Importantly though, none of the specific doorways, windows or bridges shown are real. They're fictional designs, intended to represent each of the original members but without unfairly representing one more than the other. Also like the previous series, the reverse of each note features a map of Europe, although this time including Malta and Cyprus, who have both since joined the Eurozone, as well as a tiny section right in the bottom left to show the Canary Islands and some of France's territories. But that's about it for the similarities, so what exactly has changed? While the denomination in the bottom left has been replaced by one in green colour changing ink, making it difficult to replicate, and on the 100 and 200 notes, it even contains tiny Euro symbols. There's also a larger holographic strip on the right, this time containing an image of Europa, a figure from Greek mythology after whom the continent was named. Europa can also be seen in the watermark of each note, alongside the denomination and piece of architecture, although admittedly it does kind of resemble a kid's drawing. In terms of other security features, both series are fairly similar. Obviously they all feature the Orion constellation, a group of five circles or donuts which can be detected by printers and computer software in order to prevent photocopying. This feature was included on banknotes in secret for many years, until a member of the public first detected it on a 10 euro note, hence the name and the fact that it sort of doesn't really resemble Orion. Under UV light, 
certain elements of the note's glow to indicate their authenticity, including the stars in the flag and the stars around the architecture, as well as certain sections of the reverse. Tiny glowing flecks are also visible, something they purposely add into the paper, again to show their authenticity. But the new notes have added another really cool security feature in the form of these short diagonal lines on the edges of each note. If you fold the notes round to form a circle, they perfectly line up, indicating that the note is likely genuine, as counterfeiters can have difficulty being so precise with their printing. And these notes have introduced some microprint too, seen in the stars in the middle of the note. If you look extremely closely, you'll see the word Euro repeating in three different alphabets, Again, something that counterfeiters cannot achieve with inexpensive printers. And what is probably my favourite hidden feature? Each note is secretly a flag of Europe in disguise. How cool is that? However, having said all that, you'd be right to accuse these notes of being boring. They're deliberately plain and devoid of any personality. Europe is an exceptionally diverse continent, with the finest architecture on the planet, and yet they've opted for fictional designs. But I do understand it. These banknotes are used by an ever-increasing number of countries, and they can't be seen to favour certain ones. And where the banknotes fall short, the coins certainly deliver. The Euro coins are arguably the coolest and most collectible in the world. Each country has their own designs, and they can therefore be much more personal. The Colosseum features on the Italian 5 cents, for example, and the Brandenburg Gate on the German 10. And even some countries that aren't EU members have their own coins, such as San Marino and Vatican City. In total, there are more than 300 different designs across the different values and countries, making them an absolute dream for collectors. They most Damn. certainly make up for the lack of variation on the banknotes. But if that's still not enough, there are some Euro banknotes that are decidedly more interesting. This is a zero euro, a souvenir note printed on real banknote paper, with real security features and authorised by the European Central Bank. It has a watermark, glows under UV light, and feels and looks exactly as you'd expect a real euro to. And whilst this one features the Atomium in Brussels, like the coins, there are literally hundreds of different designs. So whilst the euros themselves might be slightly dull, that's necessary. They're the second most traded currency in the world, and represent such a vast population area. And though they might have sacrificed some infinitely more interesting notes in the process, we got some pretty cool coins out of it, and the euro has undoubtedly made life a lot easier. Yes, this is amazing, the authenticity is there and you can hardly fake the money because there's a lot of things that you can't print out by your own self and I love how smart they are and how they were able to put in the, the history into the, the money to the notes itself and also the coins it's really nice and uh, now I see the secrets now I'm seeing the euros more clearer <laughs> I've not seen it now, it's just exchange, exchange. But now I, I can like see it more, more vividly. Something that is more valuable and we higher than dollars is not as equal as dollars. Dollars has history and back to its power to it. But now I get more about the euros and I understand their history and understand the authenticity and but I'm not using the euros, so but I kind of like understand this video way clearer, and I like how they made a the money more unique and easier to trade for trading because it was a complexity that created the equality because it was complex for them changing from year to year. Then they have to bring out a solution, and something is going to benefit all parties, and that's clever for them. And I kind of like understand the euros more better. And I would love to use the money to buy, to trade, <laughs> to trade. I, I kind of like understand it more better. It's, it's cool. It's cool. And it's amazing watching this video. I learned a lot from inside. Something I've never known before in my entire life. Because I just exchange more. But now I kind of like way clearer and more eye open about the euros. 
these amazing guys comment below what's in the bars video give us it thumbs up share this video to as many as can subscribe to our channel guys you know how to do it so see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all.